7th of March, 2023. Just dropped my beautiful little buddy off at school, little Geronimo. And it, Mama's gonna take him there. We had a little problem with uh, one of the girls is bullying, bullying Dorothy pretty bad. And uh, Faye's kind of ticked at us, so she's gonna talk to them and then she's gotta run into town. She said, don't wait, she'll just take a jeepney. So, I got my shaky with me, but I can't let her out because she's been ticking off lately, the last couple times. She just boogies, boogies through the grass, and I don't know where the heck she goes. So, she's, I'm just not letting her out. But, uh, last time, when I wormed her before, she got goofy for a couple days. Weird, weird what happens with the dogs. But I was thinking about something when we went to the market. Something you guys ought to definitely know when you're at these markets. I like to go to the ones that have the price on the on the food because they'll they'll come up and give you a ridiculous price. But one thing that happened to us when we were visiting uh, Mark and Maui, uh, Mark and I went out to get breakfast for the kids. We were going to get fruits and stuff like that, and we went to the first mango stand. We went and, we went through the market got some pretty good deals and you can bargain with them people depends on how much you buy I guess sometimes but um, when we came out we saw some beautiful mangoes and one stand just on the street was um, 80 peso and, and they were beautiful and I was oh but I walked down the street figured we can get it on the way back and then we found one for uh, 70 and then a little bit later we found for 60 for a kilo so whenever you're doing anything in these markets, walk around first. Like when we were picking up the bananas the other day, uh, we walked around. Now I did, we did see some nice uh, papaya. I love them things. And uh, we walked around and we did find a papaya place. The price was a little higher, but I'm not kidding you. These papaya, it was absolutely the most fantastic papaya I haven't, I've had in a while. It just looked really good. We cut it up today and ate it, and my wife saved the seeds. Now, another good thing about papaya seeds that you guys should know about, chew them up if you think you got worms or anything, stomach parasites or anything like that, intestinal, you can chew the papaya seeds up and it'll, it'll uh, expel them from your body. A lot of people don't know that. But uh, we do love the papaya. You know, I like to pick them up when they're good. You gotta watch. It seems like when we go to the market, when when fruit's bad at one stand, it's bad at all of them. Uh, and when it's really good, it, it's good at all of them. You know, it's <laughs> it's the way it goes. It's what they can get, I guess. They probably get it from the same same folks. But uh, we'll be we'll be doing the Padre Garcia, or even if I feel like driving through town, we'll go back down to that market in San Jose. We really like the market. Prices were pretty good. Uh, you know, when it comes to shopping, uh, you know, I do look for a deal all the time, but sometimes, you, you know, you just got to pay what you got to pay. And uh, we, we spend a lot on the food. I want to make sure these kids have a lot of fruit and veggies and stuff like that. And uh, we do, a lot of mornings, we do just a big old fruit breakfast. We'll cut up a whole bunch of fruit and just eat on that. Make sure to get some kids get plenty of water. I did try to get some alkaline water from our water guy to see about cleaning the fruit because these apples are, they're waxed so bad here that I just cut the peel off. So we put them and soaked them in that alkaline water right after I got it to see if that would work to take it off and it didn't. You see it on YouTube that it that it takes the, the wax off, but it doesn't. I've tried hot water, but that kind of messes up the taste of the apple. So what we do with the apples we get here, we pretty much just peel them. And uh, Mumu, he's my apple king. Sometimes he'll eat two, three apples and fail say, oh, you know, save some. No, nah, I want him to, if, if that's what his body's hungering for, that's what he needs. You know, there are certain things in food you'll get a craving for when you need it. So, but we're back at the ranch. I figured I'd just make a short one while we're riding around. And this is RS Out. Oh.